it's Colleen Rebel Stitcher and this handsome guy Albus, my best buddy. Um, this is episode number 28 and uh, this is a floss tube YouTube channel about cross stitch and quirky stuff. So um, sit back and enjoy and I want to thank the new subscribers I've picked up recently welcome and um, thanks for hanging out with us and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed and you kind of enjoy this uh, wacky rambling then hit the subscribe button so you get notifications of new uh, videos anyway um, this is the 28th one of these which is kind of mind-boggling I took a video uh, of all my Halloween stitching and I'm gonna put that at the end of this video, so stay tuned. It's really fun. I think I have a lot of really, um, I don't wanna sound braggy, but I love my Halloween stitching and I think it's exciting. So stay tuned and watch and hopefully you'll like it too. If, if Halloween's your jam, um, stay till, uh, tuned till the end. Um, I've got one project that I, um, restarted I pulled out an oldie but goodie whip that I really need to pick progress on and I have a little bit of haul so I guess we ought to dive down into it um, I'm gonna put this handsome guy down so you say hello or just snort hmm? anyway get down sweetheart okay so I pulled out my oldest whip to make some progress on it this week and for those of you who are newer and haven't seen, this was my second cross stitch project that I started as an adult. The first one, when I picked uh, cross stitch back up as an adult, I did a project for my daughter and I let my son pick something and I was naive and stupid and didn't know what I was doing and just said yes to something that's like 40 pages. So this is what I'm talking about. I have to back up here so you could see it. It's a French bulldog that looks like our girl Dobby, which is Walker's, you know, you know, Albus is attached to me. Dobby is attached to Walker. So this is the project. And there's so much brown and shades of brown that it gets very monotonous. So I take long breaks from it to which Walker thinks I'll never finish it and we, he has his bet going. So I can't let the boy win, so I pulled it out. Let's see, I finished a page, this area, and then I started this page here. So it's not, it was probably a quarter or so of a page that I finished and then maybe I'm another quarter of a page done but that's this. This is picture of this plus fabric. It's a light blue that it's on, Ada. I don't remember the title. Oh, and then this amazing needle minder. Just a shameless plug here. That's my Albus needle minder that's in my Etsy shop. And that handsome boy glows in the dark. I took some pictures of it and posted it on Etsy. And he really does glow. Not that you stitch in the dark, but you know. It's just a cool thing to have. So I worked on my French Bulldog whip, my oldest whip, made some progress. I abandoned my project that I'm doing for my good buddy, Monique. Um, this was the Black Panther piece in memorial to um, Chadwick Boseman. It's the Black Panther mask, and then on the bottom, I'm putting Wakanda forever. This is as far as I got. This is an 18 count purple fabric. Sorry, we have a fish pond out back if you hear like waterfall noises and it sounded like a fish jumped out of the water. That's why I was turning around to look. Um, ooh, I banged the table, sorry about that. This is an 18 count Ada from Extra Designs. But it is the, t it must have shrunk to something crazy. Um, I didn't measure it, but it's got to be 20 count. And I started it with two strands because I normally stitch in two strands. And it's driving me nuts. I made mistakes. I don't think it looks good. 
if it was for me, I might have rolled with it, but I want it to be perfect because it's for my friend. So I threw this and re restarted it. I picked it up. I picked up this Be Stitch Me fabric at 16 count. So it's just a little bit bigger. Don't worry, Monique, I didn't like really throw it away. I restarted it. It's just that extra um, largeness of count helped tremendously. I think it's coming out good. It's not making me wanna pull my hair out. And knock on wood, I haven't made any mistakes yet because this is not, I'm somebody when I stitch, I fudge. I'm like the queen of fudging. Um, and this is a style you can't fudge. I mean, it's symmetrical pretty much, the mask anyway. So um, it's come along good, knock on wood, it stays that way. And maybe I just needed the right needle minder. See that? That's new in the shop too. All the DC superhero girls or women, I should say. What in the world? Oh, it's Albus. He was drinking out of the pond. Oh, I thought it was fish jumping out. So I'm coming along on this and, and progress is moving along pretty good. So here's side by side so you can see um, whatever. That one's going in the trash. Um, so that's all the stitching I've done this week. I did finish um, but it's in my Halloween video, the, um, skeleton that's in that, um, on the black, it's a Nightwing, Night Spirit Studio, and it's in that, um, coffin shape. That's, you can see that, that's fully finished, and it's in my, um, oh, Halloween video at the very end. So, all I have left is haul. I got that purple fabric to redo the um, Black Panther piece from Be Stitch Me. And then I also ordered, this is called Fall. Oh my God, look at this fabric. It is, I'm trying to get it angled so you don't see the glare. Look at those colors. Could that be more fall? So this is 16 count. It is so yummy. I have no idea what I'm gonna stitch on it, but look at that. Oh my goodness. Now the neighbor dogs and my dogs are gonna be barking. And then I also got my uh, fabric of the month from Fortnite Fabrics. This is Morning Glory. This is the color. There you go, you can see it good there. This is the color um, option and burgundy truffle is the neutral. I'm trying to get it to, there's no glare. There you go both beautiful as always they never disappoint and then i did pick up two patterns off of stash unload um the blue flower halloween squirrel i did the winter squirrel and i loved it and i have been eyeing this up forever i love that the squirrel with the vampire cape is giving out acorns it's just so cute so um I'll probably eventually end up stitching quite a few of these in this series, but I did do the Winter Squirrel. This was super cheap on Stash Unload, so, you know, I had to get it. And then Barbara Anna Miss Mandrake. Let's see. Now, first of all, when I hear Mandrake, I think of the Mandrakes from um, Harry Potter, when they're pulling them out and they scream and they look like those little angry babies. Um, maybe that'll be the screenshot from YouTube. Um, anyway, this was just really cute. There's a, maybe this picture's better so you can see it. I don't know what those little animals are that she's holding. I don't, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. There's pumpkins. There's all this like crazy growth of leaves and a, like a leaf afro for her hair. And these little creatures, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I'm down for it. I'm definitely down for it. So that was really cute and cheap off of Stash Unload. So again, I had to get it. Um, for plans, I feel like I am going to continue working on my, black, my new and improved Black Panther piece. 
it's a joy and I'm loving it. Like I've said before, if you are stitching something and you're not, it's not bringing you joy, why do it? It's not homework. So there's a dog barking. Um, so I think I've alleviated that problem with the Black Panther piece. And on October 10th, I will be partaking in Ellen Reed's Zimmerman Sal. And um, that will be my first foray into silk. And um, I am super, I'm counting the days for that. So we've got some celebrating to do because it is my daughter's ninth birthday. I cannot believe my baby is nine years old. Um, she went to bed an eight-year-old and woke up a nine-year-old. I just, it's too close to double digits. Um, so we've got some birthday celebrations to take care of this weekend, but I'll definitely get some stitches in on that uh, south of Ellen Reed's Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. If you want to get the details, go check her out if you don't already. I'm sure you probably do. Um, and uh, the... Um, I'm out of Etsy jail. I don't know if I announced that before, but I'm out of Etsy jail. So you can find all your quirky needle minders that I carry. The name of my shop is Rebel Stitcher Designs, and I've got lots of fun stuff in there. The needle minders I showed today on my pieces I carry, and um, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg Descent needle minders that flew out. I expect to get back probably in about two weeks. It was some sort of national holiday where the manufacturer was, so things shut down for a while. But hopefully I'll get the material I need to make them and get them out to everybody because um, I know there was a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people wanting those. So stay tuned, they are coming. And now just stay tuned and enjoy the Halloween stitching. And I'll see you next week and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. And it is officially sweater weather. Bye. Okay, I'm going to give you a tour of my Halloween stitching on my decorative mantle. Hopefully I won't make you too dizzy while I do this. Um, let's start over here. This is a, started out, this piece right here, started out as a unfinished little wooden coffin I got from Michael's and Barbara at Keepsakes uh, mounted it and stained it in that black coffin. The, um, oh, I'm getting a glare from the window. The pattern I converted, but it is from uh, Night Spirit Studio. Um, and on 14 count black Ada, White Lightning is the thread I used on the skeleton. And let's see, this candelabra, I'm gonna move my skeleton, is another. All of these are finished by Barbara except for one. So those are all um, Prairie Schooler and Barbara mounted it in this awesome thrift store find. Put him back, there we go. This is a little flat fold stand up. There's the back fabric uh, with thy needle and thread, which is night out, I believe on that one and that fabric I dyed myself. That was my one and only attempt. Let's see. Here's my one of my ornament trees. I went a little crazy this year. Um, look at this little guy how cute he is. This little. So like I said I've got a bit of a vintage Halloween obsession. These are all either Let's see, this mermaid right there and this pumpkin. Those are both from the Stranded Jacks collection for ornaments. Spooky down there and Halloween night and the grave. Those are all Prairie Schooler. And look at this crazy little cat guy. 
And there's one of my vintage Halloween galvanized buckets. Now this is the one thing Barb did not finish. This is from the new um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine, the Barbara Anna. And this is my little pillow with my gender fluid cat. Here's two more ornaments, both by Prairie Schooler, uh-oh, and the Gay's Crystal Ball. Oh, wait, no, there's two Barbara didn't finish. This is by Jan also. My Halloween witch stand up. Look at those legs. I just love those legs. And she finished it with the chenille and this awesome fabric on the back. And it's got some weight to the bottom. So, this was my little experiment with the tracing paper on that jewelry um, holder I found on clearance. And I think it turned out pretty sweet. So that is based on elements from Prairie Schooler, but uh, the pattern doesn't look anything like that. I just kind of did a mishmash collage of all my favorite elements. And then I just freestyled those skulls down in the bottom just so it wasn't too much empty space down there. And then here is, uh, I believe that's Stacy Nash Primitives, Halloween, and Barbara mounted it in that awesome metal uh, tray. And then here's my sweet little pumpkin that my mother gave that to me. That was probably the start of my Halloween collection. It's this little, it says, Happy Halloween Pumpkin. That was probably the first vintage Halloween piece I've ever had. And then my last ornament is uh, Greetings from Transylvania by Frosted Pumpkin. The, the Frosted Pumpkin, I guess is what it's called. So that's my Halloween mantle in all its glory. I'm gonna step back a little bit and try to not make you dizzy. And um, I'm officially done with stitching Halloween for the year, so I thought I could show you this. One last piece of Halloween stitching I didn't want to leave out. It doesn't live on the mantle, but it is in our entryway when you first come in the door. It's Hocus Pocus. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's Waxing Moon Designs is the pattern. The fabric is the amazing uh, Jody fabric from Steel City Stitchers. Oh, you see my finger in there? I'm so good at this. And um, the broom I got at Michael's and well, the whole broom plaque ensemble was from Michael's and I just uh, mounted the stitching on top. Well, I didn't, Barbara did, but it was my idea. Anyway, that's it for Halloween stitching here. I hope you guys enjoy.